thing. Okay, child's pose. Let's do this. Can you see my mat? There it is. All right. <clears throat> So fairly wide knees, as wide as you're comfortable having them, and rest your forehead heavy on that. Arms anywhere that they're comfortable, but with no tension in them, just relax the arms. And if this is too intense for your hips or your knees to start with, you can always come up in a puppy with your bum off of your heels instead. And find your breath. Take a big inhalation through the nose, if you can. And a deep exhale out of the mouth. Notice as you inhale, as your back body grows, your rib cage expands. And as you exhale, feel the release in the body. Two more. Last one. Awesome. Okay. Rise up to your elbows, still with your knees in the same position, and you're going to shift the weight back as you inhale, feeling a lengthening down the side body up into the shoulders, and then exhale, shift forward, shoulders on top of your elbows. Go with your breath, nice and slow, engaging the core as you shift forward. And you can choose how far your elbows are from your knees. The further away they are, the more you're gonna feel this stretch. Wow, that chime is so loud today. The volume must be up. Hi, I can't see you. I'll come see who you are in a sec. Oh, a couple more. We could just do this for an hour. It's really good. Christine, I know I can sense you saying, yeah, let's do that. <laughs> awesome. Okay, bring the knees under the hips. Come up to your hands, and you're going to do anything that feels good in your spine today. So that could be a cat-cow. It could be just cat or just cow. You could be going side to side, or you could be going kind of free-flowing, loosey-goosey. So no watching you, give your spine some TLC. Still breathing deeply. A few more seconds. Awesome. Okay, let's do some bird dogs to warm up our right arm. Straight ahead, reaching long with the fingers, and then send the left leg straight back, toe pointing down. You want your arm and leg to be pretty much parallel to the ground. Breathe into your belly, engage your core. Relax that left shoulder. If you find it's tensing up, hold for a little bit longer. And then plant the right and left down, switch sides. Reach long, engage, engage. Awesome. One more. And switch. And if you're feeling super stable today and you find that you're on your toe on that right leg, you can come onto the top of the right shoe instead. And that will make you a little bit more wibbly, wobbly. So it will challenge your core more. Awesome. Switch. Last time. Hold on the toe or the top of the foot. Did I say the sole of the foot last time? I meant top of the foot if I said sole. Awesome. Plant it down. Okay, I'm going to come to a forward angle. You are going to bring your right foot out to the side and then come up so you're seated on your knee. And then you're going to shift the weight starting to get into the hips. Oh, that feels so good. This bugs your knee being like this. You can always roll up your mat a couple times. Bring it out at an angle. Shift forward a few times. And then straight forward. 
it feels really good and you just want to hold it for a sec, you can do that too. Awesome. From here, shift the weight back, back onto the back leg, toe to nose on the front. Hold for a few seconds. Let's come to the inside of that leg. Come back to seated on your knees. Before we do the other side, we're going to warm up our glutes. So tap your bum to your heels as you inhale. Exhale, rise up. Squeeze the pencil between your bum cheeks and do not arch your back. So I want the drive coming from pubic bone to belly button, not from a back arch. Good. Big exhale as you rise. Squeeze, 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 squeeze your glutes. We go for four, for three, two, and one. Send that left foot out, toe points away from you, and sit down into that side lunge. Oh, this side feels a little tighter. <sighs> Last one here. Angle it out. Have a little sit. Woo. Feels so good, but it kind of hurts at the same time. Last one here. Bring it forward. And shift. Take your time. Don't worry about my pace. You do you. Awesome. Shift the weight back. Toe to nose. Lengthening the back of that front leg. Hands come to the inside and send that leg back. One more round of our hip thrust, squeezing the bum at the top, adding arms this time. If you can manage both together, that's great. Reach up, inhale, exhale, pull down, squeeze those elbows into your side like you're juicing an orange with your armpits. Don't forget the bum squeeze. Four, three, two, and one. Plant the hands, toes curl under, bent knee, downward dog. And just like in the cat cow or the spine moves we did earlier, do anything that feels good in your body. Maybe you're walking the dog, bending one knee at a time. Maybe you're rolling out your ankles. Maybe you're lifting a leg and opening a hip. Maybe you're staying still and breathing. Nice wide fingers. <clears throat> Focusing on using your finger pads as well, not just dumping into your wrists. Awesome, pause. Okay, walk your feet to your hands, feet to hands, bending the knees as much as you need to. And then once you are there, I want you to slowly roll it to standing, chin to chest. Turn around, drop your chin to chest, roll down, walk it out, down dog, or you can go into a high plank, shoulders over wrist, core engaged for four, three, two, walk feet to hands. Trying to bend your knees maybe a little less than last time. Roll to standing with a relaxed neck. One more time. Roll it out, walk it out. High plank or down dog. Core engaged if you're planking. Walk your feet into your hands. Meet me in that forward fold, so don't roll up just yet. Shake out your shoulders, give your head a shake, no. Inhale, halfway lift, hands come up the front of the legs. Exhale, big release and fold. Ha! Again, inhale, fold, third and final, inhale, and fold. Bring the hands to the outside of your left shoe, and you're going to roll up the side of your left leg all the way to standing. Rainbow the arms, right overhead, left overhead, and then walk back down the right side of your leg. Come back to center, sway side to side a few times. <clears throat> Let's go the other way. Come to the outside of your right leg, roll it up. Big rainbow overhead. 
and roll it down the left. Sway side to side a few times. And then bring your hands to your thighs, bend your knees a little more, and roll it to stand slowly. Good, once you're there, let's start with a sumo today. Nice wide feet. My toes are out turned and my knees are tracking over my out turned toes. Good, come on down. We're gonna add to full range, down and up. Lovely. Why don't we add a little pelvic floor lift? To this sumo. So as you rise up, I want you to exhale. So inhale down, X rise. Inhale down, layering on. As you exhale and rise up, you're going to gently lift up your pelvic floor. So picture coming together at your perineum and gently lifting it up inside you. Inhale, release it down. Inhale down. If it helps, you can think about holding in the flow of pee. Try not to squeeze the bum though as you do the uh, pelvic floor contraction. Two more. Last one. Hold the sumo for me. Maybe you're at 90 degrees in your knees, maybe not. Open up the arms a few times. Little chest opener. Good, push it back, triceps, warm them up. Side angle, just pushing, bending and extend elbows with my shoulders relaxed. Bring them forward, bicep curl. I know, legs are on fire, mind you. Four, three, two, and one. Heel, toe, your feet. Good, side step. Let's add a little last bit of cardio to our warm up. Then we're gonna get going. Keep going. Who joined us? Maggie, hi. Welcome. Four, three, two, tap it back, reach the arms. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, back to your speed skater. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, Two, tap it back, go eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, final round, skate, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, tap it back, last eight, six, four, three, two, and one. Okay, let's go. I'm ready. So, What do we have? Six moves. 35 seconds each. One time through. Just getting my timer, I'm not checking my text. So your first move is a lunge. You're gonna hold the lunge, not arching the back. So in fact, you could even lean forward slightly. And then with your arms, you're gonna reach overhead and then twist over the side of the front leg. Overhead reach, twist, looking over the shoulder. 35 seconds, switch legs, 35 seconds going the other way. Then you're gonna hold a plank on your elbows, knees or toes. I'll give you more cues when we get there. Then we take a break. Then we move on, curtsy, straight back leg this time. Arms come overhead and you pull down, 35 seconds into the other side. This time arms are doing a row. Weight's optional. Then we're gonna plank again, and I'll give you another option. Cool? Okay. I'm here for you. I'll give you a heads up what's coming next. 35 seconds, we're all send our right leg back in that lunge. Three, two, and one. Let's go, right leg back. Hit that lunge, you choose how far down you go. You can lean forward slightly and then reach up and over with the right arm and then look over the left shoulder, nice and slow. Up and over. Got a lot going on here. 
legs cooking, but also some beautiful flexibility and mobility in the upper body. Three, two, switch right into it, other side, other side with the arms. Left arm overhead, look over the right shoulder. Keep going. You might find one side is a little wobbly. Go slower, more controlled. 15 seconds to go, then we are straight into a plank. Woo! Sweating already. Five, four, three, two, elbow plank. Core is engaged, knees or toes. Meet me there, timer's on. Once you've found your form, you are solid, you're engaged, your quads are engaged. I want your glutes are squeezed. I want you to pull the mat. Three, so pull three. from your elbows to your feet or knees. Pull back from your knees or feet to your elbows. You should feel a firing up of your core when you do that. So you can only do it for a few seconds and then take a break or you could try to maintain it for our last 10 seconds. Getting a 20 second break after this, and then we'll move on to our curtsies. Pull, 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 pull. Five, four, three, two, and one. Take a break. My mat is so dirty. We have 20 seconds to break, and then we're going to curtsy. Left leg forward, right leg back. It's our usual bent knee curtsy. Your back leg is straight. Lean forward slightly. Join me. Three, two, overhead reach. Exhale, pull the elbows down like we did in the warm up. Juice the oranges between your armpits. Weight is predominantly in that front foot. So really push that front foot into the ground. You choose how much you bend the front knee. The more you bend, the more you're gonna work your quad, your side bum, and your mat, your glute max, the big muscle in your bum. Almost there, three, two, and switch. Other side, same, same with the legs, arms this time, reach down. Exhale, pull up, squeezing your shoulder blades together. Keep going. So to bend that front knee, you might have to push that back leg back further away from you. If you want to bend it more. Keep going. Exhale as you pull up. We have a plank coming up in three, two, and one. Find your plank, 35 seconds on. This time if you want to, you can saw your body forward a little bit and then straight back. Watch your bum doesn't rise. You're still in your perfect plank position. Straight line from the crown of your head to your shoulder blades, to your bum, to your knees or your heels. Good shoulder burner, this guy. We are close. Break coming up. Four, three, two, and one. Off or done, round one. That was strength round one. Now we go to cardio. So all our cardio is going to involve a stance switch. So a stance switch being coming from forward facing to turning your toes and your body one way. Cool. <clears throat> so first move. Stance switch, just like I was doing. Forward side, forward side, forward side, forward side. Too loud, too loud with neighbors below you. You can tap it back instead. Cool, so that's your first move. 25 seconds of that, then you get a 20 second break in which, I will, in which time I will show you the next move. There are four of them if you're wondering. Okay, get ready to stance switch. Three, two, and one. Forward facing to hips. Turn the toes. Breathe into your obliques, your sides here. 15 seconds to go. Pick up the pace. I want you thinking speed here. Eight. 
five, four, three, two, take a break. Huh, 20 seconds. Move two coming up. Squat, stance switch. Squat. If you really want to work your quads, pause and then explode up. Cool. Three, two, let's go. Sit back in that squat. Pop it up. Pop it quickly. Turn the hips. Turn the toes. Watch the knees up pulling in in your squat. If you want them straight or maybe even slightly out. Ha! Almost there. Four, three, two, 20 second break. Move three. One or two foot hop. Turn out to stanch. One or two foot hop. Cool. Seven seconds until you go. Ah, three, two, travel laterally. Stance switch turning out. Other way. This can be a one foot hop or a two hop. Nice soft landing. Bend the knees. 10 seconds to go. Ha! Ah, we might feel our calves tomorrow. Three, two, take a break. Final one, vertical hop. We're down, we hop, stance switch. Down, up, stance switch. Don't have to hop. Squat to toes, squat to toes. Three, two, let's go. Squat to toes or a hop, stance switch. Whew. Ha! Nice soft landing, just like last time. Twist those hips. Get those obliques. Five, four, three, two, one. Break. <sighs> nice job. Okay. So, that first strength set we did, plus this cardio set we just did, we're doing it all again. Exactly the same as we did it last time. So 35 seconds, lunge, hold, reach, twist, yeah? Right side, left side, then we plank. Oh, I'm still out of breath. Okay, right leg back, on the back toe, Straight line, ankle, knee to hip. We go down. We hold it. And then we add the side bend and the twist. Nice and slow. The slower you go, the more your balance you will be. Woo! We got 10 seconds left. Five, three, two, switch legs straight into it. Other side, reach. So there will be no class on Friday and there will be no class, whoa, on Wednesday next week. However, I think I will teach a class on Sunday for backpackies from Edmonton. So if you can make it, that would be great. 9.30 Vancouver time. Three, two, let's plank. Knees or toes. Find your form, find your stability first and then layer on pulley mat. Elbows to knees or toes. Toes to elbows. Woo! Relax the shoulders. Try not to drop the chin and look back at your feet. Look down in between your arms instead. Pull, 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 pull. Get a 20 second break after this. Engage your core, squeeze your bum. Almost there. Three, two, 20 second break. Ha. 
Good job. We're going to curtsy with the back, straight back leg. Left foot forward. We still have eight seconds. Ready? Three, two, and one. Find that form. Sit as low as you're comfortable sitting. Overhead reach. And then pull down. Your neck to be in alignment with your spine. So I don't want you looking up or down. So just follow the same curvature of your spine, looking about a foot ahead of that foot. Whew. Get lower, get lower. We got six seconds. I know, I'm feeling my side bum. Two, three, two. Switch legs. Arms reach down and they row for round two. Weight's optional. Those five pounders are great for this row 10 if you want to go there. Awesome. Can you get a little lower in that front knee bend? Woo! Ha! Ah. Final plank with an optional saw coming up. Five, four, three, two, let's go. Hit it. Hold it still or maybe shift forward, shift back. Really focus on core engagement. And you can play with shifting as far forward as you possibly can. Get onto those tippy toes, really engage, engage and then shift it back. Ah, keep the bum squeezed. Little tuck of pubic bone to belly button. Three, two, and break. Okay. Stance, switch, cardio, set. Round two. First off, regular old stance switch. Right, center, left, center. Are we ready for it? Are your calves ready for it? Okay. Ready? Let's go in three, two, and one. Left, center, right, center, twist. Not just the feet. I want the mid-body twisting as well. Shoulders relaxed. Go fast. Go fast. Ha! Almost there. Three, two, one. Walk it out. Squat. Stance switch. It's becoming a mouthful. Stance switch. So squat. Switch. Yeah? All right. Three, two. Let's go. Squat it out. You can pause here. Embrace that quad love and fire it up. Nice and fast. Whew. We have 12 seconds left. Explode up. Twist. Five, four, three, two. One, rest. <sighs> okay, side step or hop, turning outside stance switch. Ready? Three, two, one. One or two foot hop, turn the feet out. <sighs> Super soft landing. You can focus on getting some height, too. You can hop high. You can try hopping far. Five, four, three, two, rest. Ah, last one. Up, four toes, stance, switch. I'm glad I don't have to say that again. Three, two, let's go. Last 25 seconds of work. We do not have to do this again. As we fatigue, keep an eye on your form. 
Keep an eye on those knees. Drag those heels into the ground in that squat. Five, four, three, two, one. Rest. Okay. No more stat switch. No more. Good riddance. Okay, we're moving on. Two, a whole new round of strength. 35 seconds. First move, we've done this guy before. It's your B stance deadlift. So B stance being super heavy on your front foot, back foot super light on the toe, but it's touching the ground. Yeah. And then you drive the bum back, not rounding the shoulders and back, pushing into the front foot as heavy as you can, super light on this back leg. You'll feel hamstring and glute on the stand leg, and then rise up and squeeze the bum without arching the back. If you've got weights, by all means, bring them with you as long as your back is okay with it. Little light weights you can start with and move up as you gain strength. Left side, right side. Then we are planking again every time on your knees. This time you can hold it or want to go there. You're reaching up and across like a Y. Go right, go left. Reaches nice and slow, super engaged. Then we break and then we push up with the child's pose. So on the wall, it looks like this. Push up, take a little break, stretch out the back, return. Push up. I like to step back to get a full stretch in my back. On the floor, your full push up, knees or toes into, drop the knees, child's pose. Then we lie down, overhead, lift up and hold and lower. Then we have our final plank. Oh, this one's a doozy. All right, so your knees are stacked here twisting to the side, or you can do the same thing on your feet stacked, and you're gonna lift up and down. And we'll do the right side for 35, and then the left. Enough talking, okay. Get ready to deadlift. We're gonna be heavy on our left foot, and your right foot's gonna be just behind or in line with your heel. It can be a little bit further back, actually, if it feels better for you. Okay, three, two, shoulders back and down. Drive that bum just to touch the wall behind you. Push into the left foot. You should feel hamstring and glute. And then rise up and squeeze the bum. It's not about touching the floor. It's about going to the range of motion of your hip. So you feel that quad, sorry, that hamstring and glute, and then rising up. Try not to round after the shoulders. Three. Two, step forward, switch sides, right leg. Super light on that left leg. Rise up and squeeze. So keep that left toe as light as you can on the ground, but it's offering you stability so you can really focus on the deadlift. As opposed to when we do those one-legged guys where you're like, whoa, wobbly balance, that's all you're thinking about. This time, think about that right hammy and glute. Eight seconds, then we plank. Three, two, plank, elbows, knees or toes. Hold the plank or reach up and to the outside of your mat like a Y, angling up, so to the top corner of your mat. Big exhale as you reach. Try to keep your hips square, so don't twist your hips. Engage your core. So you can do movement. So you're solid. Whew! My feet are slipping. Five seconds. Three, two, 20 second break. We always get a break after the plank. Get ready to push up. Hands wider than shoulders, wide fingers. Hold the mat with your fingers so you're using your musculature in your fingers. Four, three, two, push up to child's pose. Let's go. 
and you stay as long as you need to in the child's pose. Find that high plank, engage the core, and then head down as you inhale. Exhale, push up. 12 seconds to go. Oh, baby. Five, four, three, two, and one. Have a lie on your tummy all the way down. Reach overhead. Look down. Drive your pubic bone down. Lift the arms. Exhale. Inhale, place them back down. You can lift your legs as well, as long as your low back is okay with it. If you are lifting your legs, you can also squeeze your glutes. Three, two, pause for a second here. You are on your elbows. Your knees are stacked like so, but you're still on your elbows and you're still looking down to the ground. Or you can be stacked on your feet. Good. From there, lift your hips up and bring them back up and down. Keep going. It's like a really nasty side plank. You should feel ideally that lower oblique. Eight seconds, straight to the other side. Woo! Three, two, make your way to the other side. Stack the feet, point in the other direction. Or knees. Oh my gosh. So intense. Really starting to feel the shoulders from all these planks. I must say. 15 seconds to go. Then we break and we do cardio. Woo! Keep it up. Five, four, three, two, one. Oh. Ah. Yowza. Okay. Cardio. So last time was all about the stance switch. This time, it's all about the jumping jack. Four moves, 25 seconds each. First move is a squat jack. You've done a lot of legs, hey? Squat out, squat in. You can hop or you can step. Arms can be doing anything that feels good for you. You can go prisoner jack like this. You can do prayer, whatever you want. That's the first move. I'll tell you second move when we get there. You ready? Kind of, sort of. Okay. Get ready to squat. Three, two, and one. Step it or hop it. You choose. We are going from hip width to wider than hip width. Again, any arms you want. You can do baby jack arms. Ha! Keep going, keep going. Almost there. Three, two, one. Break. 20 seconds. Next move is a traveling jack. One, two, three, four. Go back. Four. Three, two, you can do it hopping as well. Four forwards, four back. Three, two, let's go. Four, forward, four back. Any version, strong arms. Nice work. Keep going. Ha! Three, two, rest. Okay, third move is your fly jack. So arms are doing a fly. This is a fly, chest fly, reverse fly. So little bend in the elbows, tapping it out or hopping it out. Three, two, one, join me. Watch your shoulders for tension here. Don't lose them in your neck, keep them. Hold back and down. Let's go. Big chest opener. 
It feels good. Pat, back to those push-ups. Whew! Pick up the pace, go a little faster. Three, two, one. <sighs> okay, last one. Narrow, as in feet are almost touching. Squat it. Big step, explode up into a star. Or boom, hop. Cool. Three, two, sit back. Watch the knees aren't going way far forward over the toes. So sit that booty back and then boom, explode up. Even if you're stepping, I want an explosion. Switching your lead foot if you're stepping each time. Right foot, left foot. Three, two, one. Rest. Okay. Shoe timer. We're going back to the beginning. Not the beginning, beginning. The second beginning. So that is our deadlifts. Ten thirteen. Let's get her done. B stance. Deadlift. Ready? Thirty five seconds in three. Two and one. Super light on that back toe. Super heavy. Drive the ground away with that front foot. Check again because I see it all the time that your back is neutral, meaning your shoulders aren't rounding or your back's not rounding. That note, you don't need to pop your booty either because that will arch your back, extend your spine. We don't want that either. Four, three, two, step and switch right into it. Other leg, 35 seconds, focusing on that front leg, whatever that is for you, my right. Can you be any lighter on that back toe? Can you push into the ground anymore with that front foot? Woo, baby. There's something so satisfying about working glutes and hamstrings, I don't know. Makes me happy. We play in six seconds with Y reaches. Three, two, let's go. Knees or toes. Square those hips. Engage your core. Option tap towards the front corners of your mat. Take your time. This is not a race. Uh, 10 seconds. Keep the neck long. Relax the shoulders as best you can. Three, two, 20 second break. Oh, it's like a godsend every time. 20 second break. Push ups to child's pose, followed by lying on your teeth, overhead reach and lift, followed by that side plank, lifty, twisty thing. Ready? Four, three, two, and one. Let's go. Push up. Don't forget, engage your core, squeeze your bum and quads, just like you're in a plank. Child's pose is so dreamy. 15 seconds to go, my friends. Three, two, have a lie on your tummy, look down, pubic bone drives into the ground. Exhale, lift it up. This bugs your low back at all. That is too high for you to lift. So lift a little less high. Focus on lifting from the chest and shoulders and not arching from the low back. Almost there. Three, two. Okay, weird twisty plank thing. Let's do it. Knees or toes. Up and lift up. Oh, yes, that lower oblique. So good. 
If you want to go even spicier, each time you return to that side plank, meaning your hip is back down, pull the mat elbows to knees, knees to elbows, like we did in that first round. Three, two, switch it, other side, straight into it. Lift up and back down to your side plank. So you're lifting out of the hips, not them. So it's like your side body is lifting up. You should feel that bottom oblique. I'm with you. Three, two, and one. Whew. Strength done. Cardio. Last round. 10, 18. Perfect. Because this is two minutes and a seconds of cardio. It's our jumping jack set. Squat jack. Number one. Squat hip width, squat wide. Cool? Okay, let's do it. We're almost done. Two minutes, two and a half minutes. Three, two, let's go. Sorry, hip width, wider. Hip width, wider. It's our final push. So if you can pick up your pace, do it. We are almost there. <sighs> ten to go, ten to go. Even faster, maybe. Five, four, three, two, Rest. 20 seconds. What's next? Our traveling jacks. Four forward, four back. In five, three, two, let's go. Four forward, four back. Find a tempo that is challenging for you and keep it the whole 25 seconds. Five, four, three, two, rest. Two to go. Fly jacks. Oh my gosh, eight seconds. Ready, four, three, two, let's go. My son just came in and said, can I get a Lula? I have no idea what he said. Is that a chocolate bar? Is it another TV show? Could be anything, I just approved it. Cause that's what I do when I'm teaching. Yeah, sure, go for it, whatever, go. Faster, faster, five, four, three, two, one. Last one, narrow squat, explode up, stepping or hopping. This is it, press, and again. Give it all you got for this 25 seconds. Three, two, and one, let's go. Explode out, come on, keep it up. Almost there, 12 to go. Don't stop, don't stop. Good job. Four, three, two, one. Good job. Yes. Your timer is officially complete. Coolio, grab some water. Huh. A lot of planks again today. We're doing a lot of that lately. Okay, walk around your room, relax your shoulders, and just swing your arms like cooked noodles. Forward and back, release them down. Good, come to stillness in the feet. Couple hip circles. They can be small, 
They can be bigger. Whoo! Other way. Beautiful. Good. Bend your left knee slightly, grab the right shoe, quad stretch. If it works for you, bring your hand to your belly, your left hand. Feel your breath. Feel that diaphragm at the base of your rib cage. Giving us the gift of breath. And switch. Grab your left shoe, right hand to heart. Maybe giving a little bit of props to your heart for allowing us to do that. It's pretty awesome. Thank you, heart. All right, bring your feet nice and wide, just like in the sumo in the beginning, hands or elbows, shimmy shake. I want you to feel lengthening in here, stretching in here. So it means we're getting a little lower, go for it. Relax the shoulders. Awesome. You're going to turn your toes to the right foot. Let's all do the same thing. Let me adjust my screen slightly. So we're in a low lunge on the left knee. Yeah? Okay, good. Good. From here, you're going to rise up. Don't arch your back. Instead, tuck your tailbone under. Left hip flexor. Left hand to right knee. Keeping the hip flexor stretching. Look over the right shoulder. Huh. Just like in the warm-up, shift the weight to the left knee. Toe to nose on the right side. Repeating just this side lunge. If it feels good, hold it. Keep going, keep holding for four, three, two, and one. Oh, sorry, you were here, yeah. Okay, good. Plant the hands, come up, parallel the feet, forward fold. Relax head, neck, and shoulders. Inhale, halfway lift, flat back. Clearing, exhale, and fold. Ha! Again. And find an exhalation that feels like you're clearing something out. So that could be a ha. It could be a horsey breath. It could be blowing out of a balloon. Or maybe fogging up a window pane. Find your breath that helps you clear. Last time. Good. Turn left. Find that lunge with the left leg forward. Rise up. Tailbone tucks under so you feel the stretch of the right hip flexor. Right hand, left knee, and open. Awesome. Shift the weight back, toe to nose. Sweat dripping off my nose, onto my toe. From here, bring that leg back, curl your toes under, downward dog. <clears throat> right leg to the sky. And then you're going to bring the right leg through, bending the right knee into a pigeon pose. If pigeon pose does not work for your knee, totally cool. Have a lie on your back and thread the needle or figure four instead. So you could be a proud chested pigeon on your hands 
or your elbows or your forehead to the ground. Um, come back up to hands if you're not there. Curl that back toe under, down dog again. Big breath. Inhale, left leg to the sky. Exhale, drive left foot through. Might not be the same pigeon as you did on the other side. Pigeon might not work on one side for you and it might be fine on the other. So ideally you're feeling your outside glute lengthening here, your glute need. <sighs> try to sink into the hips, try to relax into the pose as best you can. I know it's not easy. Woo. Awesome, drop onto your bum. And we're gonna do our last, we got a minute of hips. So 90 degree bend in both knees, 90, 90. Cool. Okay, from here, you're just gonna switch. Boop, knees come up, 90, 90, other side. Do it again, nice low. You might find you're slowly traveling towards me. That's okay. Sitting tall each time, slow, controlled hip rotations. Good, the next time you come to either side, I want you to face that outside knee and forward slightly. Think about bending far as opposed to just collapsing down. Lean far forward and then drive that knee and ankle into the ground and try to pull the ground towards that hip. You can again be on hands or elbows, long leaning, lean far. Sit. Oh. 90-90 switch, same on this side. Make sure you're in a 90 and a 90. And then super far lean. Oh, such goodness. Beautiful, sit tall. This time bring soles of the feet to there. Fairly close into your groin, like a foot width foot length distance, and then lean forward. Last bit of hip love, send your feet further out, and then lean forward again, shifting the focus now to your outer glutes again. Take a big breath in. And a deep exhale out. Sit tall, crisscross applesauce, hands by your side. Just want to do a little wiggle. Inhale, reach up. Exhale out. Again, inhale. Exhale. Inhale, last one, and exhale. 